Playtime! Yay! Well, we're talking about the Titan Tech figures again. If you didn't see my last video, these are the current figures of the MonsterVerse Titans being released by Playmates Toys, and they can transform into this battle mode with armor given to them by Monarch. It's weird, it makes no sense, it triggers all sorts of body horror, and I kinda like it. These also have transformation instruction videos by Playmates that are voiced by a guy who was probably alive when the first Godzilla and Kong movies were in theaters. Transforming Godzilla into a monarch mega monster is easy and fun. First, use the forearms to split Godzilla's body at the shoulders. These figures have a lot of transformational parts and some are easy to miss. In fact, in my last video, I neglected to raise Kong's little shoulder radar here. And I didn't even know there were doors in his thighs until somebody in the comments told me. Maybe I should have spent less time making fun of this guy and more time listening to him. Anyway, since that video, there's been a new release, Titan Tech Rodan. He is also a Target exclusive who started hitting shelves in September 2023. And he's a very interesting release because this is the first Titan Rodan figure by Playmates at all. They didn't make a regular MonsterVerse Rodan figure, they skipped right to Titan Tech. But first, very quick, the video is sponsored by Bai.jp. They're my longtime sponsor and I am their affiliate. It is a Japanese proxy website where you can use their site or app to shop from Japanese stores or bid and buy on Japanese auctions. If you sign up using my link in the description, not only does it help the channel, but you will get 2,000 yen of free money to start your shopping from Japanese sites and auctions. You know the drill, I'm just gonna keep this banner up a little bit. So what really tickles my tummy about Titan Tech Rodan is... It's a good Rodan figure, even without all the transformation stuff. I really like this head mold, it's very well done. But, of course, he does transform for Titan Tech Battle. Battle who? If these monsters are all getting upgrades by Monarch, it stands to reason they're all on the same side. So who are they battling? I love the try me gimmick on the packaging, like, Oh wow, I made a piece of his chest look weird, mommy buy me this. Let's free Rodan from the confines of this packaging, and he looks like a triangle. Of course, I gotta get his Batman wings out, too. And these just snap on. You gotta give it some real push, but afterwards, they're real nice and secure. And here's Rodan doing an intimidation pose. And again, without the transformation gimmick, I think this is actually a decent figure. His head can turn all around. His legs can move. And that's gonna be it for articulation. Look at all these screws. Somebody screwed Rodan good. Here comes Rodan! Flying across the room! Well, this time around, I'm gonna transform Rodan with the actual instructional video on. I hope transforming him is easy and fun. Transforming Rodan into a monarch mega monster is easy and fun. Oh, thank God. First, open Rodan's back. Extract the chest armor. I heard what you said about me in the last video, MIB. What? And secure the chest armor by snapping the Monarch logo into place. I'm gonna sneak into your room tonight and drop a duke on all your favorite toys. Hey, chill out, Pops. Just you wait until people make fun of you for your age. People already make fun of me for my age. Transforming Rodan is the easiest Titan tech so far. And there's another piece in his back that's not mentioned in the instructional video. So this time, Grandpa forgot to do a transformation. It's this piece you flip to put on his back. You have to flip these parts of the wings up. Why? It looks like you're just replacing flesh with a different color flesh. I seriously don't know what's up with this particular feature. Maybe they just needed some body horror in this toy to match the other ones. Got some little pieces on his legs here. His wings have hidden compartments, too, with more little parts you can pull out. If there's one part of the transformation that might slow down your momentum just a little bit, it's just getting this small piece over his hands. It can get a little caught up. And that is a fully transformed Rodan. Like I said, the easiest of the three Titan techs. And visually, he looks good. But if you really dive into this, nothing about this makes sense. You can say his shoulder blades are so Ghidorah or whoever can't bite his head off, but also, 
He can't turn his own head without chopping off his beak now. What good are these tiny blades on his wings? And also, that's it for blades! What even is the rest of his tech? There are no weapons anywhere! It's just this fancy vest for Rodan to wear when he goes out! Is this just Monarch branding their monsters like NASCAR? What is the lore here? Here comes Rodan! I got a shiny vest! And little else! Here's Rodan with the other guys. Much shorter, but obviously much wider. Jokes aside, Rodan is my favorite of these releases yet. Although it is hard to compete with Kong's microphone. Easy win! Chop, 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 chop. Godzilla's my least favorite. I don't think he looks great in regular or Titan mode. Easy win! Now let me just stab you with my tiny elbow blade here. Hold still, just a minute. They do all look great together. There's definitely consistent theming here, and that's unifying this bizarre toy line. It's not like transforming any of these guys reveals a ton of weapons. I guess you can argue these are little missiles on Godzilla here and here on Kong, but they're all rinky-dink little weapons. If these were Treadmaster's toys, you know these guys would be locked and loaded. All right, let's transform them back. Transforming Rodan back is easy and fun, but seriously, it's all a matter of slipping parts back into these trap doors along his back. That's almost all of it. Here's everyone in normal mode, and you can see how Rodan is the best at passing by as just a regular figure, because his doors and hinges are all hidden, the best of the three figures. Check your target for Titan Tech Rodan, he was slow to get to their website, and Playmates seems to have completely removed the Godzilla Kong toys from their website. So if you're not on top of toy news, you might not have even realized this came out. I've dogged on these toys in other videos, but truth be told, I'm glad we have them. In a time where so many companies have the Godzilla license and are trying their best to honor his appearance or his history or just his overall presence, I'm glad someone's out there just doing crazy stuff like the good old days. Who do you want to be the next Titan Tech monster? Mothra? Ghidorah? A Skullcrawler? Let me know in the comments and let me also know what you think of Titan Tech Rodan. Until next time. <laughs>